Welcome to MailJet. Today, we're going to walk through the steps to validate and authenticate a sending domain. To do this, you will need access to your MailJet account and your DNS records. Your DNS records will be located wherever you have your domain name registered. For today's purposes, we'll be using GoDaddy. To get started, we're going to navigate to the account settings in MailJet. From here, select Add a Domain or Sender Address. On this page, we will enter our domain name and provide a label for internal purposes. Once you've added the domain, you'll be automatically redirected to the domain validation step. Domain validation can be done by hosting a temporary file on your website or by adding a DNS record. Today, we will set up a text record on our DNS to validate the domain. At this point, make sure you're logged into your registrar and have navigated to your DNS management. To add the text record, you will first select the host name provided by MailJet and copy it. Moving over to your registrar, select Add a new record. Select text as the type of record and paste the value you copied into that first input box. Depending on the registrar you use, that first input may be labeled name, host, or subdomain. But regardless of how it's labeled, you'll input that first value we provide into the first input box of your registrar. Moving back into your MailJet account, copy the value provided and paste that into the value field in your registrar. Once you've input both the host and the value, save the text record. Once it's been successfully added, you can move back to your MailJet account to confirm the validation has been completed. DNS records may take some time to update, but most text records are pretty fast to set up. If you don't get immediate confirmation on setup of success when you select Validate My Domain, wait a few moments and try again. Once the domain has been validated, you'll be redirected to a confirmation page that prompts you to authenticate your Cinder domain. On this page, select Authenticate My Domain to begin the authentication process. For this step, we'll create two records in our DNS, starting with the SPF record. The SPF record requires no subdomain. So before moving to the registrar, we'll copy the text field from the SPF record. In the registrar, add a new DNS record. Select text as the record type. And because it does not require a subdomain, we'll add an at symbol into the first input. Paste the value you copied from MailJet into the second input. Now add the record. Once successfully added, you can move back to your MailJet account and copy the subdomain for your DCAM record. Once again, add a new record in your DNS and select text as the record type. Paste the value you copied into the first input before moving back to your MailJet account to copy the final value. Input the final value into the second input of the DNS record and add the record. Now the domain has all three required records for validation and authentication. Scrolling down your DNS, you'll be able to see all three records listed. Moving back into your MailJet account for the final time, you'll refresh your DNS. And once you receive a confirmation of setup, as indicated in the status bar, your domain is authenticated. Remember, it may take a few moments for the DNS records to publish. So if you don't get a success on the first attempt, give it a few minutes and try again. With all three records added and confirmed in your MailJet account, you are ready to start sending from your domain. Validation and authentication of your sending domain are essential to reaching the inbox. This process verifies that your email originates from your claimed domain, significantly boosting your deliverability and protecting your brand's reputation. Authentication also safeguards against phishing and spoofing attacks, making your communications more secure. Overall, these measures increase our open rates and ensure compliance with key email security standards directly supporting your business's reliability and integrity in digital communication.